am here to explain about universal motor. So let's start with the introduction about universal motor. A universal motor is characterized by its ability to operate with substantially the same performance on direct as well as alternating current of frequencies up to 60 Hz. It develops more horsepower per kg than other AC motors, principally because of its high speed. These motors are series wound and have series characteristics on both AC and DC current. Except when governors or other means are used to control their speed. No load speeds are high, sometimes well over 20,000 rpm, but armatures are continuous rated motors and even higher for intermittent rated motors. They are usually designed for full load operating speed of 4000 to 1600 rpm in large horsepower rating and up to 20,000 or more in the smaller power rating. At higher speed, better universal characteristics can be obtained as well as more output per kg. Here, the universal motor we are using is of 375 watt and 0.5 horsepower having 2000 rpm. So, now let's start with the definition. A wound field DC motor with the field and armature winding connected in series is called either a series wound motor or a universal motor because of its ability to operate on AC or DC power. The ability to operate on AC and DC power is because the current in both the field windings and the armature will alternate at the same time and hence the mechanical force generated is always in the same direction. So let's move on to the construction. The universal motor is a rotating machine similar to a DC motor but designed to operate either from DC or a single phase AC. The stator and rotor winding of motor are connected in series through the rotor commutator. Therefore, the universal motor is also known as AC series motor or an AC commutator motor. The universal motor can be controlled either as a phase angle drive or as a chopper drive. Firstly, we will start with AC supply of 220 volt using a variant. So now, Let's start moving it the motor from variant. So now you can see I am slowly increasing the voltage to variant and as it reaches near 160 it start rotating slowly and slowly and now you can see I am giving it 220 volt in the digital multimeter and it's running on its peak 2000 RPM. So this is all for AC supply in a universal motor. So now I am going to give universal motor DC supply of 160 volts. Firstly, I will I will input the AC of variac on the terminals of AC input of this box and then the DC output to the motor. And now we will start the variac and start the voltage regulation. I am slowly increasing the voltage and you can see it has started rotating when we will reach 160 volts it will be a maximum value of let's say 2000 rpm so now it has reached the maximum value of 2000 rpm at 160 dc after the experiments I am going to tell about its performance and the application. Universal motors usually run at high speed of 3500 to 20,000 rpm. This results in a high power to weight and power to size ratio, making it desirable for handheld tools, vacuum cleaners and sewing machines. So the order code of this universal motor is 69007. Now with this we end our discussion on universal motor. If you like it, please like, subscribe and share.